Hey! You nudged Kirishima with your foot. The two of you were seated on opposite ends of the sofa, your legs in the space between you. He looked up from his phone, eyebrows raised. Scoot over. You're hogging the whole couch. What? His naturally loud voice was indignant. You're literally laying across two thirds of it. Yeah, but I'm actually watching the TV. I need more room to lay my legs out. You pushed again, and this time, he pushed back. If you want to lay down, you should go to bed, he said, sitting upright. You thought he was readjusting himself to give you more room, until you felt his fingers brushing against the soles of your feet. Say, are you ticklish? <laughs> hey, stop that! You shrieked, jerking your feet back. Shh, you're gonna wake someone up. You wrapped your arms around your knees and hugged them to your chest. Fine, keep the couch space, meanie. Hmm, not enough, he said, getting on his knees and crawling over to where you were. What do you mean, not enough? Now you have most of the couch. I meant I wasn't done tickling you. He grinned at you deviously, his sharp teeth glinting in the blue light of the television. Ah, just stay back! You tried to roll off the couch, but it was too late. You were pinned in place by a muscular arm on either side. His hands found your sides, and with nothing but a thin tank top between them, sent you into a fit of laughter as his fingers brushed against the sensitive areas. Your attempt to kick out only worked against you as he used the opportunity to slip between your legs. Now able to pin you in place more easily with his weight, his tickling was merciless. You were red in the face, tears of laughter streaming from the corners of your eyes when he suddenly stopped. It took you a moment to catch your breath, and when you did, you stared up at him in confusion, your eyes still shiny. His face was red, not as dark as yours, but definitely close. As he stared down at you, his expression was somewhere between awe and embarrassment. Kiri? Are you okay? You asked, confused by his sudden change in demeanor. Kirishima's eyes were drawn to your lips when you spoke, where they fixated. His face drew closer, but he jerked away just before you could make contact. Sorry, I... You cut him off, sliding your hand around the back of his head and pulling him into a kiss. He reciprocated, his lips moving against yours eagerly. You felt giddy, small laughs slipping from you every time your lips parted. What's so funny? He asked, out of breath as he pulled back to look at you. He was grinning. Nothing. Everything. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you giggled again. It's just... I guess I'm surprised this is finally happening. Finally? His smile grew even wider as he raised an eyebrow at you. Before you could even think to get embarrassed, the sound of approaching footsteps registered. Your eyes widened at the same time as Kirishima's, and the two of you scrambled to sit up. Noticing his hair sticking up oddly where your hand had been, you burst into another stifled fit of laughter. Your unexplained action had Kirishima's lips twitching too, and pretty soon the two of you had dissolved into a mess of hysterics. A very tired Sero appeared at the entrance of the common room. He stared at you incredulously. What <sighs> are you guys doing down here? It's one in the morning. I tried to go to bed like an hour ago, but Kirishima won't stop tickling me, you said, feigning a whiny tone. Hey, that's not at all what happened. You little... Kirishima whipped around to face you again, and before you realized it, his hands were on your sides, continuing their attack from earlier. You shrieked. <laughs> Sero! You cried between laughs. <laughs> Help me! Yeah, you're on your own, Sero said. You watched him turn around and disappear from your view over Kirishima's shoulder heading in the direction of the kitchen. You would have called out to him again, but the feeling of Kirishima nuzzling into your shoulder stopped you. Yeah, 
it was probably a better idea to let him go.